Throughout January, we'll be taking a look at downtown areas throughout Indiana. Often a place of commerce and community interaction, downtown areas can help create a sense of identity to a community. We are starting the series in Lagodi. Just more than two years ago, a fire devastated the small town of Lagodi. It ripped through six businesses, reducing many to rubble. Much of that land remains empty. Locals hope that will change soon, but as Barbara Brozier reports, finding a business to buy into the idea is proving challenging. Just about everyone in Lagodi remembers where they were on this day. We were preparing for a Christmas open house and I was making Chris Christmas arrangements in the back of Lori's flowers. In November 2014, a fire broke out at Rosie's t-shirt shop and quickly spread. Someone came in and said there was a fire and very suddenly smoke started pouring in the building. It was the talk of the town and Mayor Noel Hardy says it even made national news. This was in the Wall Street Journal. But today, this block tells a different story. Thankfully, almost everybody that is still in business today and they've been able to relocate. Only two of the businesses that were damaged that day decided not to reopen. The rest are still here in Lagodi, just in slightly different locations. Rosie's moved to a building next door. Business is good. And what used to be Lori's Flowers has a new name and a new location. The shop has come back tremendously. The community played a large role in helping businesses like this get back on their feet quickly after the fire. But more than two years later, several empty lots remain in Lagodi's downtown. And there are no concrete plans for what to do with the land. You know, I think that there's loads of possibilities. Lagodi's downtown isn't exactly bustling. The small town has just over 2,000 residents. But these lots sit on a prime location. A busy stretch of 231 passes right in front and locals hope an entrepreneur or developer will see that as an opportunity. They have plenty of ideas for what they'd like to see pop up here. Eating establishments or a coffee shop, ice cream shop type thing. We'd like to see some businesses come back into the downtown area and that would be great. But the biggest obstacle is money. There are plenty of ideas out there, but building a shop from the ground up is expensive and there's little assistance available. That's why most proposals haven't moved past the idea stage. I just left a, a business uh, just five or ten minutes ago and, and he kind of was given shooting out an idea. One company hoped to secure a grant to build storefronts and housing here, but that plan fell through. Hardy would like to help his city draft a comprehensive plan. He thinks it could help, but the problem is that costs money too. The amount of uh, financing that's out there right now, they only give so, you know, so much to each community. Redeveloping the land is further complicated by the fact that it's not all owned by the same person. The city owns one lot and the rest are the property of various business owners. So for now, this portion of the block will remain empty, a symbol of a town that survived a devastating fire but hasn't fully recovered. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Barbara Brozier.